Hi, it's day 32. Um, I'm heading to the hot springs. So I did some work. I did my book work this morning. I am not going to lie though. I did not do much. It was not a productive day. So tired, so drained from this weekend, but I still got up. I managed to open up the manuscript, read through it, make some edits. Um, I will tell you, sorry, my hair seems greasy. Um, I will tell you that tomorrow I'm going to surpass 400 pages. I know I've been rambling on about that because I've been getting close, but surpass 400 pages in my manuscript and I'll be about at 100 like in the editing or this, this, pa this pass um, part of the process, which makes me about a quarter of the way through this pass, um, which puts me at, I think maybe around May I should be through this. Whether or not I'll be ready at that point to give it to first readers, I don't know. So I'm going to keep you posted on that. But what's really cool, like there's still tons of work like we've talked about, what's really cool is that there is there is a light. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. In reference to what I was talking about with my kids yesterday, oh, just was so emotional and dramatic because it's a lot of work and it's hard. So here's the thing. It boils down to perspective. My kids have had a stay at home mom their entire lives. And in that stay at home mom space, I have craved, I've always been an entrepreneur, always since I was a little kid and had my first lemonade stand. And I've always loved writing. So I, have for a long, long time felt like that's what I'm meant to do. And so finally this past year decided if that's the case, then I have to start. So um, I struggle with my experience because I'm an only child and was home alone um, after school from third grade on and all summer. So my, both my parents worked and I'm not dogging my childhood whatsoever, but I envied kids who had stay at home moms so much. And so my kids have always had a stay at home mom. And, um, this past year, I've really decided to like give the gas to working because guess what? My baby's in kindergarten. I've like done a decade of stay at home mom stuff. And then it's like, okay, here we go. Like my creative juices are flowing. Like this is the time, like I'm going to get after this stuff. I'm still at home. So now I'm a work at home mom. So they, they have gone from, you know, me going on daily walks to the park or bike rides or whatever, like things being a lot more like, oh, that's a hobby ish sort of thing with my business to like, no, I'm working and this matters because it puts food on the table and I'm going to write books like lots of them. And that's what I'm going to do. So, um, their perspective is, is what it is. And they're allowed to have that and they're allowed to love me and want me to do more with them. Like, and so I'm trying to cultivate, appreciate, develop, and adapt more of this perspective like they love me and that's fabulous and what a gift that is for me instead of this like you've had me for 10 years now let me do my stuff which as a solitary learner and an only child who's been sharing a 900 square foot space with four other humans for the past decade that tends to be my, my tendency. I tend to put up a shield and be like reframe and notice what you have. The thing is, is that they only know what they have. They only know it. And they know that mom's not looking at them every second of every day anymore. And they struggle with that. And bless me for having three kids who want me to look at them and a husband every second of every day. So aren't we all blessed? This is fabulous. I'm doing the work. They will learn whatever they learn from this. And I am still here taking care of their needs. First, none of them are going uncared for. I will tell you that and they won't. Okay. All right. This is a long video, but there's my rant. I'm going to let that go. And then tomorrow I'm going to fast 400 pages and be wildly more productive. And I'm looking forward to having a bigger right day this week, which the kids have a four day weekend. And I'm supposed to have a big right day on Friday. And so we'll see. I've got to wrap my head around it.
anyway, off I go to the hot springs. By the time you see this, I will have already been gone and be back. So, goodbye. See you tomorrow.